Oh. <laughs> That's dark. Let's go eat. <laughs> By the way, guys, we got a new kitchen. <laughs> I finished off all the good cereal <laughs> yesterday, so I don't know what I'm gonna eat. Maybe I'll have toast. Oh, I don't even know if I'm hungry. I just feel like really nervous. <laughs> okay, so I just went and read my horoscope and it said some surprising news is ahead. So, <laughs> hopefully it's surprisingly good. <laughs> Because I'm already thinking that I've like balls up all my GCSEs and just all over my um, slip of paper, it's just gonna be like D's. So if it's surprising, then that means it could either be worse, as in like all over my paper is actually used, or it could be better, as in like all my paper, all over my paper is like C's. <laughs> Either way, I'm feeling a wee bit sick. I'm gonna brush my teeth, brush, brush my teeth, but yeah, all in all, I'm just kind of a bit like, <laughs> Okay, so I got changed. I always get changed about 14 times before finally deciding on what to wear. So. Hey guys, so sorry for the fact that I haven't vlogged much at all today. It's been crazy. The day has gone so quickly, it's been so hectic, and I just feel like uh, there's just been like 20 different things on my mind at each point and I just got distracted but anyway I'm back home now so I wanted to do for you a little haul and also talk about my result ah! so yeah let's get on let's open up my results and obviously when you get your results this is what it looks like so in maths I got a five which is basically a C, but I think this year they class it as a B, but it's technically technically still a C, which makes no sense. So I don't know how that works. But either way, I pass math, so I'm not really bothered. Um, in English language and English literature, I got um, a six. I don't know why it says here end one and it says D. I don't know what that means. If anybody knows what that means, please do let me know. But yeah, in religious I got a B in classics I got an A in art and design I got a C in drama I got an A star in DT I got an A star in biology I got an A in chemistry I got an A in physics I got a B so I am really really happy with my results I'm so happy specifically with my drama DT and um Classics because they're the things that I want to take in six form, so I'm super happy about them. But yeah, that is my results, and that was like my morning, <laughs> all morning, just repeating them over and over again. <laughs> anyway, first of all, I went to do Perkins. This was to find a little jacket because I'm not allowed to show our shoulders, so I wanted like a little jacket to um, cover them. Um, but instead, <laughs> I found this super cute shirt, and it's like tight and on the breast area and then it flowy around the rest and it <laughs> tight around the breast, flowy around the rest. It's like two layers so it's quite thick but and it's so cute and it's got these little um like bobbles and then these little holly bits and it's so cute and I'm so happy with that but I still didn't find a cardigan. Then I went to Primark, I needed some jeans because if you notice from my college haul that I did I bought some ripped jeans and they're not allowed at college which I only found out when my sister watched the haul which sucks so I had to go and get some more jeans and um, to be honest these jeans are exactly the same as the jeans that I bought from New Look except no rips and really long <laughs> so these are from Primark they're just like as you can see they're so similar except a little bit um, lighter and they're just some simple high-waisted bubbly jeans. Okay, so this here, we went to Wilco's to get our stationery, which is really awesome. But yeah, first of all, I'll talk about something else. We went into Age UK because sometimes we like to snoop around the charity shops. And I've been looking for a cute corduroy crop jacket for a long time. But on like ASOS or anything like that, they're like £20. Not one to spend £20 on very many things, so 
I struggled. But went into HUK and I find this beauty. So this is this cute corduroy denim style jacket and it's cropped and it's really hard to show you guys but it's so cute and it just looks like there's £7.49 and that is dope. Okay now stationery. It's not a huge stationery haul but it's all the basics that I thought I'd need. So first of all I got these three um, binders like folders whatever you want to call them and I got them in Oh, three different shades because I was going to use colour coordination for each subject so I got a green one, a black one and a blue one. 75p each. Then for my concerns I also got these two lined papers. I got one which is a spiral notepad just in case I wanted a notepad version where I could keep it in the notepad or just have a place to go back to. I also got a refill pad and this is more for if I need lined paper I can just rip it out it's not going to be like staying in there it's just going to be for lined paper they were both 75p I then got these two revision cards I call record cards but they are revision cards and I got two packs because in WH Smith they're like £3.50 for 100 cards but in Wilkinson's um, these were like a pound for a hundred so I thought I'll stock up and get to um, the 78 s s s adhesive labels and these were 50p and obviously these are to go on any notepads any um, documents like my folders anything like that I can pop my little uh, stick it on and I can label it away. I also got this print stick. I was going to go for the miniest one but it worked out cheaper to go for the biggest one. Then I got these pens. I have tons of pens like this is my stationery um, drawer and like along with pencils I have tons of pencils too but literally I can grab out here and like pens. There's just like pens everywhere. This one's that pencil case is full of pens. This pencil case is full of pens. This one's full of pens. I just went and got these pack of 10 mixed pens and they were only 35 pence so I thought these can be a backup. Anyway the last thing I got was this little rubber and that was 35p as well I think. So really really cheap. I think altogether I only spent about £8 on stationery and about um 20 pounds on clothes a bit over 20 on clothes so i mean i didn't want to really go like fully shopping today because i just i'm not gonna pay till friday so but that's what i wanted to do today and yeah so i'm really excited about my results i'm really happy and i hope everyone else is as happy with their results and did really well and better than they expected and congratulations <laughs> bye